Hello everyone, welcome back to the video series on first language English passing package part 11. With the continuation, important one mark questions are What does picket hands and jaws refer in the poem to the pair of sorrow screen? Answer, picket up hands and jaws, this expression suggests the collishness of the hunters. Next one, what does Basavanna compare his body with? Answer, Basavanna compares his body with shrine or temple. Next question, the narrator in the lesson, the eyes are not here, says, once again add a game to play. What game is referred here? Answer, the game of continuing to hide is blindness. Next, important two marks questions. How do Jin and Pierre beg for the food in the streets of Paris? Answer, Jin says, for the love of Saint Agatha and all the blessed saints, have a pity on a poor miserable who had no food for three days. Pierre says, arms of the love of God and all his blessed angels have a pity on a poor traveller who had no food from one week. Next question, how is the nature described in the poem The Stolen Boat? Answer, in the initial lines, the nature is described as a calm, tranquil, silent, but later when the guilt in the poet increases the mood of the nature, also turns from peaceful to threatening and menacing. Moving on to next, important three marks questions. Describe how 70th birthday of Louis Pasteur was celebrated. Answer, Pasteur's 70th birthday was celebrated as a national festival in Paris. Pasteur's speech was read out by his son. It addressed the young students and argued them to ask what they had done for their education and as they advanced in life what they had done for their country. Next question. There are two worlds, the world of idler artist and the world of inhabitant of the workers paradise. Which world is better? Why do you feel so? Answer. The people in the workers paradise spend the entire day working and this gave them pleasure. The artist on the other hand spent all this time idling around and this made him happy. Working the entire day with no free or lazing around the whole world will make a person dull. A right mixture of two worldwide of work and the leisure make up the best personality. Next mean important 3 marks question. Untake the following. Take your hat off. Let's have a sight at the look of it. This extract is taken from the prose, The Gift of Magi, authored by O. Henry. This statement was uttered by Madame Samfroni to Della. Della decided to sell her long, beautiful hair to buy a gift for Jim, as she did not add a sufficient money. So, when Della went to Madame Saffroni, who bought and sell hair in saloon, and offered her hair to her. Madame told the above statement. Next question. If the graves gate could be undone. These lines are taken from the poem CLM. Composed by John Massifield. In his mother's name. Caroline L. Massifield. This poem is a tribute to his mother. He expresses his love and gratitude to his mother. Who died while giving a birth to her sixth baby. In this line, he says that if his mother were to come back now, she would not recognize him as he is grown up as an adult now. Next, grammar. Combine two or more simple sentences into one compound sentence. He is a dancer. He is a singer. Answer. He is both a dancer and a singer. Next question. She is tired. She cannot cook. Answer, she is tired so she cannot cook. Practice all these questions because it is very important from the examination point of view and do write the self-test which is very important. Thank you for watching the video. If you find this video is useful, please do subscribe the channel and do share the channel. Thank you again.